What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as the title states, we are gonna be covering the pros and cons of hunting on Camp Pendleton. Specifically, five pros, five cons. Actually, six pros, five cons. We'll put pros here, cons here. So what I did about a month ago, I asked about 10 of my friends that have hunted on Camp Pendleton, what they think are the best things and what they think are the worst things on uh, hunting Camp Pendleton. And this is where this list uh, has come from. I've been getting a ton of questions about hunting on base. Every single year we get a bunch of new Marines here and they're always curious about um, hunting here. So I thought I'd make this video to help you guys out. So let's get right into it. Before we get into it though, if you are one of these occupations that is in your face on your screen, shoot me an email and I'm going to help you save massively on anything outdoor rec related, camping, hunting, fishing. Yet again, if you're one of these occupations, shoot me an email. My email is in the description. Let's get to the real video. So getting right into it, um, we'll start with the pros and I'm gonna be giving my personal opinion on each one because some I do agree with and some I disagree with. So getting right into it, pro number one is varying difficulties of hunting. Yes, Camp Pendleton has a wide variety of different terrains. There are some mountainous parts and then there are some flat parts. So it's perfect for the uh, so for someone who's just getting into hunting and for someone who has been hunting for a long time. Okay, con number one area availability. So what this means is that Camp Pendleton is split up in a bunch of different hunting areas. There's hunting zones. So if you're out scouting right now, like you should be, and that area you've been scouting, let's say hypothetically finds monster five by five, which may or may not exist on base, but that zone may not be open for opening weekend or any weekend for hunting Camp Pendleton. But remember, this is a military compound and training is priority and hunting comes second, unfortunately. Okay, access to quality, mature animals, 100%. This may link in with another one of the pros, pro number two, by the way. This may link in with another one of the pros uh, later, but the game wardens take such good care of the wildlife on base, constantly filling, filling the guzzlers and constantly tracking uh, herd quality and herd numbers. So yes, you have the option for some pretty good size uh, deer, specifically deer. Okay, con number two, hikers, slash joggers going through the area. Yes, this is a huge problem. So on Camp Pendleton, uh, there's something called a fire break, you know, thus the name. It literally is a huge piece of land that is just carved out into sand so um, flames and embers can't jump into another area, okay? So they kind of control it that way. But a lot of uh, people tend to use these for hiking and or jogging. And Unfortunately, sometimes they don't know that there are even deer or hunting is allowed on bait. So you could be going toward, you could be on a stalk or you could be seeing some like quality deer. And then next thing you know, you look up a couple, you know, hundred feet and there are some people on top of this ridge line or just going straight through hiking, uh, walking their dog, just going out for a casual stroll. So yes, I've experienced this myself and it does suck. Okay, uh, pro number three, pro number three. So semi-private land. Yes, I personally can think this is a pro as well. It's not 100% public and it's not 100% private. There is a list that I posted in my last video that I'll post right here again, that allows, um, these people are allowed to hunt on base. So it's not 100% open, but it's not 100% closed either, if that makes sense. There's a specific criteria of people, therefore it kinda to a degree controls the numbers of people allowed to hunt on base. Con number three only open on weekends. Yes, is the biggest pain in the butt. Um, so kind of tying in with area availability, Camp Pendleton is only open on uh, Saturday, Sundays, and occasionally the federal holiday. So, you know, you take a week off or whatever, you've been spotting this solid deer, let's say, you, you know, whatever, on a Sunday you find this monster buck, you gotta wait till next Saturday. Hopefully it's open on Saturday um, to go after him. So yes, that is a huge con. I 100% agree with that. All right, pro number four, kind of mentioned it, fire breaks, good for tracking deer and moving. Yes, so uh, fire breaks offer a huge opportunity to uh, look at footprints. N typically it is very soft sand and they're bare and bare as and there's not a lot of uh, overgrowth on them. A uh, good place to uh, start and good place to transit. Um, these fire breaks do allow you to get super far deep and you don't have to bushwhack. So it is a huge benefit in my opinion as well. All right, con number four, can't quarter out deer, half true, half false. 
So what this individual was talking about is after you harvest your game, you do need to bring this game back to the game warden's office and they need to get certain things from it because they track their deer. They track the deer herd, they track the amount of deer that were killed on base per that hunting year. Um, but if you're in a very, very remote area, and it's almost damn near impossible to get that deer out. If you call the game warden, yes, they will give you an exception. And this is from their, this is from their mouth themselves. This, this is what they told me. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, 95% of the time, you're gonna need, wherever you get that deer, you're gonna need to literally bring the carcass back to the game wardens. They're gonna get their samples. But if you're in a very remote area, they are um, willing to let you quarter it out and just uh, bring it back that way. And don't forget, you still need to bring your tag. Make sure you put the tag on the deer prior to bringing them to the game. Okay, uh, uh, pro number five. Pro number five, dang, got here quick. Uh, offers archery, archery only areas. Yes, this is absolutely huge in my opinion. Being a, being a bow hunter, um, I don't need to worry about potentially getting shot. Yes though, yes though, Camp Pendleton does require you to wear hunter orange or blaze orange in areas that are also for riflemen. But knowing that there are only other arches in the area is a huge uh, relief in my opinion. Okay, uh, the last con on the list, too many coyotes. Holy moly, that is 100% true. So many coyotes, and yes, you could hunt them. So if you want, if you like hunting coyotes, uh, electronic calls are allowed, get out there. If you have access to Camp Pendleton, help help provide protection, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, predator management, predator management. We need it, I need to do it more, it is insane. I went scouting the other day, I have scouting videos coming out soon after uh, this video. We saw 16 deer to 11 coyotes in a very condensed area. Yes, so many coyotes. Okay, the last pro for the list, this list, uh, best deer management in SoCal, 1000% agree. I've hunted a lot of public land, and it is not even close to the amount of deer I've seen on Camp Pendleton compared to out on public land. Are there deer on public land? Of course. Are there big bucks on public land? Yes, I've seen a few, but not in comparison. Uh, the buck to doe ratio specifically on Camp Pendleton is absolutely insane. So uh, I thought I'd make this video, like I said in the beginning, a lot of people have been asking me about this kind of stuff, and I thought this would help them. Um, so just know, uh, in my opinion, you know, my personal pros and cons list, I sportsman, I think is a huge pro because you're able to see how many people are already already in a hunting zone or hunting area prior to you picking it. Um, additionally, with that is with I sportsman the lottery. All right, I'll do another video on the lottery soon, just so everyone understands because hunting season is about a month away for us in uh, SoCal. And then uh, one of the biggest cons I also do agree is that uh, only hunting on weekends it really, really, really really sucks especially if you if you're tracking like a solid buck on a uh, saturday sunday kind of thing and you're not able to get to them now you have to wait all the way till the next saturday but as long as there are poachers that was another con apparently can't handle this big poaching problem don't know how but as long as you know someone's not out there doing some illegal stuff hopefully they'll be there the next weekend if that area or zone is open again i know so my opinion, yes, you should hunt Camp Pendleton if, the if you have the opportunity because it is the gem of the South, in my personal opinion. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, and happy hunting. Peace.